Hello, thank you so much for clicking this video today. I really appreciate it. I'm in a new location today. I'm actually at Vegas for Rare Evo, but yesterday, while I was on a flight, the midnight airdrop went live. So users that hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, over seven or eight different blockchains can now actually register to be eligible for the midnight airdrop. And the first thing I want to say is there's no hurry here. You have about four, 58 or 59 days to claim this. So if you are nervous about anything, you want to wait for a tool or further support, go ahead and do so. There's no reason to rush into doing this. And if you do rush, you could get scammed. You could, you could lose some of the assets and some of your wallets because we're dealing with you know finances here. We're dealing with cryptos. So you need to be very careful and follow you know my guide or other guides step by step. You need to make sure you're also using the right link as well because scammers are on the rise as they always are they're going to be looking for ways to kind of socially engineer you to take your assets here and you know claiming this airdrop you know while it's not very hard it needs to be done in a careful way to prevent that from happening in this video we're going to be covering claiming your airdrop with eternal with lace with your roy and also hardware wallets i'm also going to be talking about daedalus in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a strategy that you know shows you how you can also claim this airdrop with Daedalus. But again, you know, one, these are free tokens from this guy. If it makes you so nervous, you don't have to claim it. And um, you know, just be very vigilant and careful, you know, with the way that you're storing your phrases, the way that you're creating the new wallets, you know, what address you're actually sending the night tokens to. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and jump right into it, right? So again, you know, what we're covering is you know claiming the midnight token airdrop, some security practices with that, and then also how to claim with both Ledger and Trezor wallet at the same time. So let's get into the first part of the video. Okay, to get started in this video, we're gonna start with the most basic form of claiming. And this is users with uh, you know, a Yoroi wallet, an Eternal wallet, a Lace wallet. What you can actually do is you can go to claim.midnight.gd. You can also just go to midnight.gd I'm going to put this link in the description down below. But what I also recommend, I'm going to also put, you know, Midnight's X link down below. So you can go to their official account and you can use their link. You have to be careful with what links are you're using because they could be, a, you know, a fake or a scamming link here. So we're in the claim.midnight.gd uh, portal here. And the first thing we're going to do is click our blockchain network. So, you know, depending on what blockchain you're claiming on, you can click any of these different networks here and connect your wallet, right? They support MetaMask and many other wallets, but we're going to focus on Cardano today. We're going to confirm the Cardano network, and we have a few different options here. We can enter the address, address manually, but if we enter the address manually, it's going to be a bit harder at the end, the process. You're actually going to have to create a transaction within your wallet and then sign it manually at the end of the process. So we're going to start with the easy one first here, the browser wallet. So they have MetaMask and Enlace as an option here. And then again, if you're using a hardware wallet, some people are actually having issues right now with hardware wallets. So later in the video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use Ledger and Trezor and, and claim this right now. But we're going to be focusing specifically for wallets right now that are in the browser uh, you know, that you can connect using CIP30. And CIP30 is just a, a standard on Cardano for connecting wallets. So, you know, all of the browser wallets follow it, whereas Daedalus, for example, is not a CIP30 supported wallet. So if you're using Daedalus, you're going to have to wait until the later part of this video, and I can show you how to get that done, uh, you know, with Daedalus. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect, uh, you know, the Eternal wallet here. And then if you noticed, it did say that, that you know, Lace is the premier wallet. Uh, you know, I, I think I tend to agree with that because, you know, I've spoke to some of the team members at LACE and, you know, this night token is actually going to generate dust. And then you can use the dust to use the night network. Uh, you know, it's an interesting tokenomic design that I'm not going to get into right now. But, I, you know, from my understanding, LACE is actually going to be, uh, you know, widely supported and supported a bit earlier when it comes to, to night because they have a close relationship with the team. So now that we've inserted this address, you can see that I have some night tokens here, 273 for this wallet. And, you know, there's an important note here. You had to have at least $100 in whatever, whatever asset you're claiming. And then they took the snapshot date a couple of months ago. So in that time, if you've moved your ADA or your other tokens to a different wallet, then you're going to need to connect the wallet uh, or type in the address for the wallet that you used 
during that snapshot date. Off the off the top of my head, I want to say the snapshot date I think was uh, you know June 11th uh, on the dot. Uh, but you know I'll, I'll put on screen here uh, the actual snapshot date um, so so you guys have that. And that's you know the wallet that you're going to want to connect the wallet with ADA or Bitcoin from that actual date. So then now it's saying your address must you know uh, you want to also have select a, de a destination address here as well. And they're stating that the de destination address has to not have any ADA in it. So what you can do here is you can actually create a new wallet, uh, you know, with no ADA in it. You know, you can use Lace or Uroi or Eternal. You know, create that wallet. This can also be on a hardware wallet uh, in which you're creating it. So no problem there. Once you create that, you know, make sure you store this mnemonic phrase safely like you would with any of your other wallets. Don't screenshot it. You're going to want to write it down and put it in a notebook and label it midnight, you know, claim wallet. And you'll also be able to claim some of your other airdrops, you know, if you have other wallets to this same address, which I think is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and use a different address here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and um, enter this address manually. But I'm going to go grab that address and, and jump to the next part of the video. Okay, welcome back. So what I just did over the break is I went ahead and created a brand new Cardano wallet. If you're a bit more tech savvy, you could use you know, Eternal's multi-address mode to get a second address that has no ADA in it. Uh, but you know, to keep things simple, you know, I just created a new wallet, and that's a way for you guys to do this as well. You can create a new wallet in Lace, Eternal, Uroi, uh, to actually claim these tokens. So now that I have this, and, and again, they want the address to be completely empty. So a brand new wallet, brand new address, or it could just be an empty address in one of your existing wallets. So now that I have this address, we're going to click continue, and then I'm going to paste this destination address right here. And then this is a new address that I made just for this. Check, and then we're going to check to make sure that it's unused. It should be unused. Okay, it's saying it is. If it's telling you that your address is used, that just means you have ADA or other assets in that address, and they would like it to be empty. So make sure you read the terms and service here. You know, this is important. We're going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom. Click next, and then now we have this uh, this claim message here. So we're going to go ahead and sign this. And you know, because we're kind of doing this the simple way, we're using a CIP30 wallet. In the beginning, we didn't enter that address manually. What we did in the beginning instead was we connected our wallet. If it's asking you to you know do some kind of more complicated stuff, that means you need to go back to the choose an origin address and connect a wallet. So you, you guys don't see this, but after I type that in. Eternal actually popped up for me, and I'm going to go ahead and sign this transaction using Eternal. And you know, one thing I wanted to state here is you can actually read your transaction on Cardano. If you're signing this, you know, look at the UTXO ins and the UTXO outs. If it says you know UTXO out on the right side, and it has all of your favorite NFTs and all of your ADA going to another wallet. That means that you're actually doing something incorrect. That means you're using the wrong website. So, you know, what I recommend is read all of your transactions before you sign them. This transaction is actually quite unique. We're signing a transaction that includes text and metadata that's submitted to the blockchain. So when you're looking at the transaction, it doesn't have all of my ADA or all of my assets or all of my NFTs are going somewhere. That's not what's happening here. I'm signing a message transaction. Right, so please, 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 please just verify what you're signing. And it's very simple. If you see all of your assets going somewhere, you're getting scammed. If you're seeing a, a message transaction, then you're signing the right transaction. So I'm going to go ahead and sign this payload. And it says, okay, your claim has been successfully signed. I'm going to click here now, complete claim. And then now it's completing the claim. And then we've gotten this claim completed message, claim summary. Your allocation size was 273 night. Hell yes. And then it says this, this first claim phase ends in 58 days and 19 hours. And this is kind of what I was telling you earlier about. You don't have to rush to claim this. You have another 58 days. That destination address that we used earlier, we can reuse that destination address for our new wallets or for you know, our other wallets or you know, our other blockchains. 
So keep that fresh address so you can reuse it for other claims. If you have another wallet that you need to claim or check, you can go ahead and just click this start a new claim here. But the next part of the video, we're going to get into Daedalus, and then we're also going to get into hardware wallets. I've heard some users have had troubles with hardware wallets, and we're going to solve those issues in this video. And we're also going to take a look at Daedalus and what you can do to claim that through Daedalus in a bit more of a secure way uh, to protect yourself, although it's not required. If you want to try out a new amazing product on Cardano, just go to atrium.io. We've been working on this for a few years now, and we have unique products that have never been seen before on Cardano, and it's a great way to support this channel. If you're enjoying the channel so far, or the videos that I make, log into Atrium, in a profile. Profiles are our entrance into the social FI ecosystem that we're creating on Cardano. These profiles will be able to gather delegation like SPOs. You can mint them now and start leveling them up and unlock unique exclusive backgrounds. We actually have an exclusive uh, avatar and background here at Rare Evo. So it serves as an education portal for new users. When somebody asks you, what is Cardano? You can just share the Matrium because we have an education portal with 26 motion graphic videos that teach you about Cardano. We also have a new product launching on August 13th called Staking Baskets. Diffusion, what's launching on the 13th, allows you to delegate to 50 different Cardano stake pools and earn Atma tokens on top of your ADA rewards. So for supporting 50 small businesses on Cardano, you're also getting additional tokens on top of your ADA rewards for supporting all of them at once. We have a bunch of different products and features in here on top of the education portal with Staking Baskets actually launching next week on the 13th. Now's a great time to get in here, mint a profile, and if you want to learn more about Atrium, if you have any questions, just join the Discord link down below, discord.gg forward slash Atrium. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for all of the people that have used Atrium so far. It's been an amazing launch. We've had thousands of users complete thousands of challenges, or you know, tens of thousands of challenges, I think over 50,000 now. And uh, we've also had thousands of transactions on the Cardano blockchain since Atrium went live. But let's get back into the video. Okay, we're going to talk about Daedalus for just a moment. Uh, you know, with Daedalus, I mentioned the CIP30 support earlier, and it has to do with the browser wallets and being able to connect your wallet. And that really is the issue with Daedalus. Daedalus is a full node wallet that's trying to do a different thing. But what you need to realize about uh, wallets, specifically on Cardano, is that wallets really are just a window into your blockchain assets. They serve as a front end for your assets. So when you created your Daedalus wallet, you wrote down a mnemonic phrase. That mnemonic phrase is your keys to your crypto. It's what allows you to actually spend the crypto. So when you type in that mnemonic phrase on you know, the Eternal wallet or the Euroi wallet or the Lace wallet, for example, it's essentially opening up a different window into your assets on the blockchain. So with your Daedalus wallet, if you had ADA in there on that snapshot date that we showed on screen earlier, then you will be able to claim the midnight airdrop. But because you're a Daedalus user, it's going to be a bit harder for you. What you're going to have to do is recover that wallet in one of the wallets that I've mentioned in this video today. It's going to be the same wallet. You're still going to be staked to your same stake pool that you love. And, um, you know, except you're going to have your wallet in a new application in Lace, Euroi, or Eternal. You know, you want to make sure that you're using the correct wallet, uh, to be honest with you. If you, for example, you know, download the wrong Eternal and it's a scam, you could lose your assets. So one thing that's possible here, I'm not saying I recommend this, but this is an option for you, you know, especially if you want to be extra careful, is you could set up another wallet in Daedalus or in your Roy or in Eternal, and you want to write down that mnemonic phrase, you want to check that it works, and you could actually send you know, the most of your ADA to this new wallet under this new mnemonic phrase, and then use your old wallet, the one that used to have all of your funds, maybe leave, you know, five ADA in there in case you need to send or receive something in the future in there, 10 ADA, and then you can recover your old wallet that used to have all of your funds in it into Eternal, into Lace, into your Roy, and then once you have that there, then you can go back to the first part of this video where I showed the easy step-by-step -step guide of how to do this. Now that you have your Daedalus wallet in your Roy or in Eternal or in Lace, you can connect your wallet and do the transaction in an easy way, just like I did at the beginning of this video. But again, you need to be very careful with this process. There is no rush, as I've mentioned multiple times, uh, to get your Knight tokens. So, you know, with Daedalus, it's definitely possible. 
you can definitely get the airdrop. It just requires a couple of extra steps and a couple of bit of extra protection as well for your own security. The other thing that I want to mention is I, I, I found uh, it is actually possible to claim your airdrop in Exodus, but it is very complicated. It does not fit into the scope of this video. However, there is you know 58 more days for you to claim this airdrop. So I imagine uh, there's going to be some tooling made for the Exodus wallet. I also imagine you know you'll be able to get it in time. So it is possible with Exodus, which is good news. It's just quite complicated, right? So you're going to have to kind of dig a bit dig, dig a bit deeper and work a little harder uh, than other users. But I am happy to say that it's possible. The next thing that we're going to get into in this video is hardware wallets with Ledger and Trezor and how you can actually claim this today uh, using your hardware wallet. Okay, we're on to the hardware wallet claim portion of the video. And I got bad news if you're a Trezor user. Right now, Trezor is actually not supported in the airdrop. I did get word from Trezor today, I want to put the X post on screen, that they're going to add this availability to Trezor within the 60-day window. And I'll make another video and post another update once Trezor is available. So if you're a Ledger user, you're in luck. So what you need to do for Ledger to work is you need to download uh, Uroi, uh, the browser extension, and connect your wallet. So you know what you do once you're in Uroi, you have a few different options here. You have the create new wallet, restore existing wallet, or connect hardware wallet. So we're going to go ahead and click connect hardware wallet. We're going to do the ledger hardware wallet. Once that wallet is actually connected, you can click this airdrop tab right here, and you can claim the airdrop in your ROI. If you're having issues with that, then you go back you know, to the beginning part of this video where we claim through the midnight.gd portal. And you should be able to connect your ROI wallet and claim it step by step, just like we did in the beginning of this video. As I mentioned, Trezor is not currently supported. Only your Roy wallet is supported. Um, so okay, now we've gotten you know the the airdrop claimed you know for most of us until we're waiting for the the Trezor update. So what's next? So at the end of this you know 60 day period, you know shortly after there's going to be an unlock where you can claim your first bit of tokens and whatever is not claimed is actually gonna to go to the lost and found. And there's also gonna be this kind of gamified experience where you can actually claim more of these tokens by running you know, different tasks in, in your browser and stuff. I'll make videos on that as well. But again, there's no rush to claim all of this. I'll make a video once the, the treasure support is up and live. I wanted to include that in this video, but it's not working for me, uh, even in any of the wallets. But you know, from my understanding, if you're having trouble with Ledger on any of the wallets, uh, your ROI is working quite well right now. And um, yeah, thank you for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, make sure you click the like button. If you made it to the end, uh, comment uh, Ledger down below. And then we'll do a unique code for Atrium. If you're an Atrium user, go ahead and type in uh, Ledger uh, you know, into Atrium to get some, some XP for tuning into the video. Uh, thank you, guys. If you have any questions, comment them down below. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.